you marry someone who's older who looks older who you look this way and you're marrying him for money and i got everything that one can imagine so mujhe personally aisa kuch fark nahi padta log kya bol rahe hain so it's never it's never affected me probably will never affect me it doesn't matter what people say and stuff like that he's not insecure i think it takes a very secure man a secure person and a secure partner to have received comments like that um and just be like take it with a grain of salt whatever gerard and i met a little over 10 years ago we met through work हम दोनों की अलग अलग वर्जन हैं ऑन हाउ वी मेट ये हमारी घर की कहानी है कि मेरे मुंह से एक वर्जन निकलता है जो सच है और उनके मुंह से कुछ और ही वर्जन निकलता है फैक्ट ऑफ द मैटर इज वी मेट बिकॉज आई वॉज सपोज टू कम इन एंड मीट हिज बॉस दैट डे एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली अनफॉर्चुनेटली हिज बॉस वॉज बिजी इन अनादर मीटिंग दैट वॉज रनिंग लॉन्गर दैन प्लान एंड ही सर दैट आई शुड मीट जेराड इन स्टैन एंड दैट्स काइंड ऑफ वेन वी मेट द फर्स्ट टाइम um we started seeing each other maybe 5 or 6 months after that she came across as someone who was who was honest who was transparent she seemed pretty charming uh and yeah i mean got interested in her and started meeting regularly chatting regularly it was good talking to her apart from work as well so yeah that's how it all started i just felt myself feeling very comfortable very safe very supported and very like at peace around this person and that was a new and unique feeling for me uh for marriage i proposed to her on my birthday june 4 uh we thrown a small get together at home i knew who she was inviting so i had obviously messaged them you know on the side saying that i'm going to propose to her so be ready and stuff like that and that's how it was all set up he comes up to me to tell me he loves me and you know thank you for this night and then the next thing you know he was down on a knee and i was so confused because it it's not like i wasn't expecting him to propose at some point but i just wasn't expecting it at that time हमारी शादी को सात साल हो चुके हैं मुझे अभी भी ताने मिलते कि तूने हाँ इमिजिएटली नहीं बोला बट मैं शौक में थी इट टुक मी थ्री टू फाइव मिनट्स टू प्रोसेस दैट मोमेंट सो इट वॉज वन वी गॉट एंगेज दैट आई पुट अप दैट पोस्ट एंड दैट पोस्ट हैड अ लॉट ऑफ ब्यूटिफुल कंग्रेचुलेटरी मैसेजेस बट इट ऑल्सो हैड अ लॉट ऑफ यू माइक समान हु इज ओल्डर हु लुक्स ओल्डर हु यू लुक दिस वे एंड you're marrying him for money and i got everything that one can imagine and i think that i wasn't afraid of anything for myself in that moment but i think at that time i was so afraid that this is going to hurt my now fiance's feelings because my internet life was attacking him and he was not used to being in the public eye so to speak right i almost felt guilty at that time but i saw his reaction to it and that was very just validating of the choice and confirming of the choice that this is the man for me because he was like okay so mujhe personally aisa kuch fark nahi padta log kya bol rahe hain so it's never it's never affected me probably will never affect me it doesn't matter what people say and stuff like that the only time that i engage is when i'm bored uh, so when i'm bored when i'm not doing anything i try and engage with them you know just like that just for fun he's not insecure I think it takes a very secure man, a secure person and a secure partner to have received comments like that. Um and just be like take it with a grain of salt, whatever. So you guys have been together for a long time now. So what's that like? It felt normal. It felt like this was supposed to happen and um it felt like I was just you know how you in your teens or whatever talk about moving in with your best friends. and for me it was a group of my girlfriends from school um i just felt like i was moving in with a best friend and it's been it's i mean we've been married for 7 years almost now and it still kind of feels like that um and sometimes i'll get comments on my youtube where people are like it looks like you guys are like flatmates living together and i'm like yeah because you see me doing house chores and then you see him doing house chores i think it's just equal responsibility right to take care of the house or something like that i think one of the advantages that i've had is that i've lived alone for about 20 years 
I started living alone at a very young age, just right out of college. And the way that we were brought up, me and my brother, household, I mean, me, us helping our mother in the kitchen by doing the dishes when she's not well, or even going out for groceries and stuff like that was just extremely natural to us. So it, it never really mattered to me what I'm doing. And that's how it's continued. So yeah, I mean, uh, the division of labor is, is extremely important because she has a very successful, full-fledged, time-consuming career also, right? It's not just that I have my work, even she does. And she needs all the support that she can get, especially especially in things like this. This is, this is nothing. I mean, this is your house, this is your world. Better take care of it. We're very, like, it's truly a marriage of equals in that sense. We launched Verified together in 2021. And it was in 2019 that he quit his job. 14th August exactly, because I remember waking up and saying Happy Independence Day to him on 15th of August. Right at the beginning when I decided to quit, obviously there was a worry in my head, right? Now, now how, what am I contributing to the house? So it wasn't financial because I was fresh out of a job. Uh, so how am I contrib contributing? So she sat me down, she explained to me that there are a lot many ways that you contribute to the house. It's not just about the salary that you bring in. It's not just about the money that you bring in. So while the timing in light of the pandemic sucked, in general, I'm so glad it happened as it happened because I really had so much of the weight lifted off my shoulders. I wanted a launch. It took me five years to work on the launch of Verified, four and a half years. And if I didn't have him by my side, I probably would have taken a couple of years more. I feel extremely proud. Uh, I've seen her work, like I said, I know what she's capable of. I know what she's done to make her dreams come true. I mean, having her own brand is a dream. It's a big dream for her. It's just insane watching her grow, watching her achieve everything that she wants. And knowing that I do have a small role to play in that. We see in so many cases that women join their husband's companies or their family business with the in-laws and it's treated so normally and it's treated like, yeah, it's done. So like when I saw some kind of responses here and there about, are you sure you want to do it this way? And I was like, but what's wrong with that? Couples work together all the time. Ego never played a role in that. Again, the only fear again was what, what was my contribution. That was the only fear that I had in there at that time. And Jerry is unconventional in so many ways when it comes to when you look at the larger picture in present tense. I hope that, you know, in time, he'll be the default mode for a lot of men out there who see that their partners have potential and that, you know, they'll only flourish if you give them that much more support. If you like our story and enjoyed this video, then don't forget to hit that like button, share this one with your friends and subscribe to the Hot of Fly channel. Mm -hmm.